So, hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. I've been wanting to make a video about this incident actually for several, several weeks. And interestingly enough, the other day you got a warning and notification. It came, I don't know if you saw it or not, but I saw it in an article basically stating that the U.S. Postal Service does not want you to be or warning you about uh, sending checks through the mail, sending money, checks, whatever, through the mail. Now, before we get started, I already know what somebody's going to say. They just want you to do that because they were trying to get us to go on a digital currency. Well, Maybe so, but the fact of the matter is, if you have a debit card or a credit card, pay things online, well, what do you think you're working with? But, so just leave that at the door. I want you to hear what I have to say, because I want you to take this serious so that you are protected and your money is protected. We thought we were being, you know, proactive and protecting our money um, back at the end of uh, March into the 1st of April, because we finally got to a point where we could pay off James's truck. I have, I fight tooth and nail to stay as debt free as possible. So I know some of you are also gonna say, well, what do you mean? Here's the fact of the matter. Uh, James, I'm just gonna give you some personal information. Yes, James did buy a truck several years ago. Um, the positive thing was, is that our credit was so good that we didn't have any interest. Our interest rate was zero. <laughs> so long story short, we were able to pay, pay, pay extra, extra as much as we could as we went and we weren't getting hit by interest. Okay. So we got to the point where it was like, okay, here we are. We're going to pay it off. We're going to be done. It took a while, but we're there. So we went, uh, we called the specific bank that we were and, uh, have been dealing with. Okay. To, in order to make this happen got the address, spoke with the person, got the amount, told them what we were going to do, asked what was the best and safest and, mo and quickest way to do this. And they said, a cashier's check. We said, okie dokie artichoke. So we put our little booties in the truck. We went to our bank. We bank through a credit. We have a credit union and we got a cashier's check. We did. We, we were good little people. And then we boot scooted and boogied and we went over to the post office and guess what we did further? We were going certified mail, right? So that we would make sure that we sent the money directly to who we need to send it to. Uh, not only that, but also we had proof and or verification that they would get it. Sounds, sound, I mean, we were ready to celebrate, right? because we want no debt, no debt. All right, so here's the deal. Couple of weeks go by. Looky here, looky here. Now I'm gonna to try to be generic here. On April the 6th, do you see that? See that little squiggly thing up there? It was initialed. We got this back in the mail. Okay, so we got this and I was like, hey, they got our money. We'll probably get our title soon. Everything is done, yada, 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 yada. Well, a couple of weeks went by. We didn't receive anything. So James said, I better call. I said, I think that's a good idea. So he called. To make a very long story very, very short, they never got the money. Sir, we never got this money. My husband's like, yeah, yes, somebody did because I'm on record as of calling you on this date, speaking to this person, and I did what she said, and I did exactly what I was told, and I even had the little doo dilly here saying that, yes, somebody signed for it. So we have an issue here. Where is my money? Well, here we are, guys, almost into July, and this whole situation just got resolved a couple of weeks ago. This took seven weeks to get resolved. So I'm not going to go into all of the boring ins and outs, but it became, it got a little ugly, okay? So not only did we do exactly what we were told, we thought getting a cashier's check was the safest route. We found out in the end that basically, yes, while a cashier's check, 
um, can be, a, according to our bank, a little bit more difficult um, for people to basically um, cash or take the money than it would be a regular check. Let me tell you, it is a bear and a beast uh, to have it basically canceled. We had to go through a legal team. We had to go through an, an audit team. We had to go through a legal team. We had to come back and fax and show all of our paperwork. We had to prove to this facility that we did all of these things, had all these things. We had to get our credit union involved in order for them to even start the ball rolling for them to say, okay, well, we're gonna investigate this and we're gonna do that and we're gonna do all these things, all of these things. Uh, we then had to go back and forth to have them sign an affidavit, basically saying that if and when, if they ever found, because we wanted it canceled. We wanted it canceled. We wanted it started over from scratch. We wanted to step back and figure out a safer way to pay this final bill off, da 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 da, da. All of this. Um, and it got really messy. Thank goodness our credit union, uh, you know, it took a couple of weeks, but they got heavily involved. Uh, we had some good, a good gal at the credit union really pushing for us. And long story short, we have since had it resolved. Then we found out, so then once we got it, like seven weeks later, when we finally got our money back, okay, because you had to go back and forth with proving this, proving that, to cancel this, cancel that, it was a mess. Um, once we got our money back and we've turned back around and said, okay, now what is a safer way for us to do this? We then found out that they had applied late fees. Not only had they applied late fees, we had one taken off from the very, very get-go um, because um, they were like, okay, well, we won't charge you any late fees because this is sort of like trying to get resolved. There's no, you know, blah, blah, blah. Well, they ended up doing it anyway. So lots and lots of problems. Here's the point. I'm not saying that our money was stolen I'm not saying it was lost, but I am saying it was one of the two. I am also saying, uh, since I'm, I'm not gonna say the name of the uh, financial institute here, um, the question is, is it somebody on their end or was it somebody with the post office? We don't know that either because um, the post office did not make the individual actually write out their name. It's just like a J, kind of like a J squiggle. So nobody knows, nobody knew. The good thing is, is that we did get our money back. We did have our credit union really work with us and stick their necks out and fight for us. And we did get our money back. But the point that I'm making here is, is there is a lot of shenanigans happening. While they're telling you not to send a regular check in the mail, I can tell you that according to our credit union, as far as on your end, having more control over quickly canceling, like if I, this had been a regular check, if we had sent a regular check and it had gotten there and something had happened, we would have been able to cancel it a lot quicker. See, our credit union couldn't, couldn't do anything immediately. So that kind of stalled the whole idea. But James and I have been talking about it because I told him I wanted to finally make a video about this since that article came out. The bottom line is, you do what works best for you. I'm not a financial advisor or a banker, but due to this, I will tell you, due to this horrific experience, if there are ways that you're trying to pay something off or make a payment and you can do it quickly, I don't know, over the phone um, and other safer ways, I would consider that. I definitely think that you can see and are seeing situations through the Postal Service. Now, when they talk about that, they're talking about people literally swiping mail out of your mailbox, swiping mail out of the um, mailboxes from the Postal Service that are randomly around town or even outside, the, outside of the offices. They want you coming in and giving it to them. It's safer. But what I'm telling you is, is even with that, you're not foolproof. So I want you and I want your money safe. I want you as debt free as possible. I understand everybody is trying to do their due diligence to make sure you've got things paid off, that you are squared away, that you are set. But sometimes it's not necessarily as easy as you think it is. So this is to get the ball rolling in your mind and a conversation going with maybe your spouse to say, okay, well, we're gonna pay off our house. Or we're, especially when you're paying off 
a, something very important such as a vehicle or if you're paying off your house or if you're paying or track I don't know I can come up with a hundred million things okay just make sure you are taking every step possible to be as safe as you can and to document because like with us there's only so many options here as far as what happened and they knew it and clearly the at the end of the day when we had to get a little bit uh, <clears throat> brassy and uh, get the legal team involved that's when things started moving, but it shouldn't be that way. It shouldn't be that ridiculous. This is just the clown world that we are living in now. Has it always been crazy? Yeah, but a lot of things are happening. A lot of theft is happening. A lot of incompetence is happening. Pick or choose your poison. In the end, it, it could have been us that could have been completely, well, messed up in the whole end, uh, you know, to begin with. So just want to drop this video off for you be doing your due diligence, but be thinking about when it comes to your assets, such as your money and things of that sort, that you are absolutely trying to protect yourself as much as possible. We thought we were. Actually, in a regular world, we actually did. We did the, all the right moves and things are still happening and they can be devastating and they can uh, really cause a lot of problems for families keep fighting the good fight. Hope you're doing well today. I hope this helps you out. I hope this just helps you think and plan and process moves in order to, for you to be more self-reliant and debt-free, okay? Because we're all fighting so hard to, to be there, right? But I want you safe. Like, subscribe, and share. We appreciate you. We'll see you on the next video.